Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Mewtwo Fan Nate, and welcome back to another episode of How to VGC. In this series, we jump onto the online rated battle spot ladder and we try to learn as much about VGC as possible. So, today we're going to be using a team that was uh, sent to me by my boy Jack the Battler, so uh, I definitely encourage you guys to go check out his channel. A link um, to it will be in my description. Um, now, I do want to stress again that this is a series about learning, because like I said, I'm not the best player, never claimed to be, never will be, um, but that's the purpose behind this. I do want to get better, and hopefully with the help uh, from you guys in the comment section, we can band together and form like this insane learning machine army kind of thing. So, uh, I'm going to hit Battlestar, and I really like this team because it's really interesting. It has like Assault Vest, Tapu Koko, and things like a uh, Choice Scarf Politoed, which um, it does catch a lot of people off guard, so I would say this team is probably m much better in terms of like best of ones versus that of like best out of threes. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I actually tried recording with this team last night and I had a killer headache and I just couldn't record. Um, and I just like the entire time the commentary was just like complete like dead silence because I just my head was killing me. Um, so, immediately, I see, um, I actually really wanted to just bring Tabu Coco to, like, right out front. And, I think I also want to bring Scarf Politoed right out front. And then, I think what I want to do is, um, I think I want to bring Farabosa for the, um, for the Snorlax there, and then I think I need the Gengar for the Tapu Finfin. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully that uh, that works out, and hopefully Paulo doesn't wreck us, and hopefully we learn something from this. Cause you know, um, like I said, I'm really just trying to get better. You know, even if I like. A loss, even though it is it is a loss, um, hopefully we can gain something from it. Hopefully we can see where our misplays lie, and hopefully we can get better. Um, now I do. I just want to stop him from setting up a tailwind. So I kind of just want to. I think hydro pump actually. Um, hydro pump is better in the rain uh, instead of an ice beam. I've been seeing this a lot. I'm pretty sure this was used at some sort of uh, some sort of tournament because this is just what I, this is the new meta. This is the new meta. Um, let's go for a neat, I could go for a nature's madness um, plus uh, hydro pump onto the mandibuzz. Feeny's gonna withdraw. That was pretty uh, clear there. Um, Hydro pump, and that doesn't do too much. It doesn't do too much, to be honest. And we might just get destroyed now because um, Tailwind's definitely gonna get set up here. Um, and I have two Pokemon that cannot protect, but. Hopefully, and the thing is though that I, you you struggle with this team to switch into like Garchomp after like a Tailwind. Um, you really do. So basically, what I have to do here is hope I I think I can live one like one Earthquake, one Spread Earthquake maybe. Um, let's go for the Volt Switch into. Mandibuzz, and I guess also go for um, a Hydro Pump into Mandibuzz. Tapu Koko does drop there. And, oh, it's gonna roost. That's not good. I don't think we can win. How do we beat that, though? I 
Well, I'm Faramosa. And I think what I do is I just, uh, I'm gonna check how many turns of Tailwind I have left. I mean, how, how many turns of Tailwind he has left. And, um, Misty Terrain. It doesn't say Tailwind. Misty Terrain and Rain, that's all it gives me. Tailwind is two out of four right now. So let's go for protect. I could have led, I guess, um, and then gone for the taunt. That might have been a better option. I should have taunted. Uh, let's go attack the Garchomp. Wow. I should have. All right. So at least. All right. This is what I'm talking about. As as upset as I was, we did get something out of it. We were able to realize our mistake of we should have led with Faramosa and taunted the Mandibuzz instead because that would have prevented the Trick Room from getting up ever. So um, that, that's where we um, that's where we uh, realize what what we should have done. And now we just we're gonna forfeit here because there's like no way that we can win unless we. All right, unless we get like a beast boost by like killing the um, the Garchomp, but I think what I'd have to do is I think I'd have to get a double protect off. Well, I'm gonna go for Ice Beam because Gar um, if it's like banded Earthquake, I still don't think it'd kill me because it's like resisted. Um. And what I do now is I just go for a protect on Gengar. We're gonna st we're just gonna play this one out because um, maybe I can uh, learn something from this. I know Fremos is frail, but let's see let's see if this will knock us out. It doesn't. Foul play after the foul play though it it will knock me out. Yep. Because it was a crit. I don't know. I could. I might have been able to live that. Um, potentially. Maybe the, the play there was to go for the double protect. Um, so there is um, no way of me winning now. So I will forfeit. Disappointing game one, but you know what? We got to learn somehow. Somehow, some way. We take, we take a loss. Not the end of the world, guys. We will come back. Definitely. We're actually going to get another game right now. We're going to see if we can um, adjust the playing because um, as of right now, I am not doing too well with this team. And the team is actually pretty interesting. He did send me another team. He said um, you can use a new this other team. So um, that team will be coming next. Um, and uh, it actually is pretty interesting. Like it includes like a um, really, it's like a another bulky Coco, which I think is going to be really good. Um, let's continue battling. And some, it has some pretty interesting stuff. Like this team, um, I think it's good, but I think it could be better. I think it definitely has some weaknesses. I feel like it could be patched up a little bit. Um, as far as, because the one thing is I, sh I really, really struggle, like, on deciding whether I should, like, with bringing like Gastrodon and uh, Metagross, because I feel like I should just, I feel like I have no ever like use to bring them, like almost ever. Um, and I'm not sure when I should bring them, so I guess I could bring uh, Metagross once, like it's choice banded. I could probably bring it um, and see how it does, but we'll see. Like I said, it's a learning process, guys, and you, you gotta practice to get better. There's no um, there's no way around it. I mean, winning you do you do learn, but when you when you take a loss, you definitely can uh, adjust. So we get uh, Manny with a 16.39 rating, with a really cool team. I actually like this his team a lot. He has uh, he has a hail team, uh, which is interesting. I'm gonna have to bring Polytude um, to counter the weather. Actually, I think this is the team where I bring. I actually kind of just want to bring um, Politoed and Metagross, but um, 
Ah, uh, some shit just fell in the background. No worries. Um, I kind of just want to... Alright. What I do is... I think what I do... Is I bring... Uh, I'll lead with Coco. And Metagross. Bring Politoed in the back so I could switch it in for the weather. And then... What I do now... Is I think I have to bring Fermosa, right? Because Ice Beam, uh, the fighting hits a lot of stuff. Alright, we're going to bring Fermosa. We're not going to bring um, Gengar. Because Gengar, it does have um, like sl like Sludge Bomb or whatever for the Nine Tails, but other than that, it doesn't do too much. I mean, we could Shadow Ball a couple things, but um, it doesn't really hit anything, you know, for su like superb damage, in my opinion. And plus, with the it having a focus ash, uh, and they have hail, so um, really no need for that. So let's let's try this out. Let's see what happens. Vanillix and Sand Slash. And now what I can do is I can, I can probably Volt Switch out into Coco. I mean, uh, from with Coco, but there's a good chance that he might be a Scarf and Alex, and I don't want that. So let's just go right out into Politoed. I'm, I'm risking a little bit here. And um, there's a good chance that he. All right, I'm actually just gonna Meteor Mash the Vanellix here. If it protects, it protects. We're gonna see what happens. Now we're gonna see if this thing is scarfed. Sand Slash protects. That's cool. Vanillix protects. So they're both... They're not scarfed. It's, they're, they're not scarfed. Um, and I'm actually just going to Scald the Sand Slash slot. And then I'm going to Meteor Mash the Vanillix slot. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you messed up there, buddy. Can I get a burn? He's still fat. Like, wait, wait, wait. So, is all right. So, even though he just switched in. Is this gonna knock me out? It's not. Can we hit a meteor mesh? We do connect. Is the hail gonna take me out? I hope not. Alright, I'm gonna switch Metagross out then. Salamence. Um, I think what I do is I scald the sand slash. Um, and I do I switch out? No, I have to double switch here. All right, so let's switch out into. Actually, no, I, I can let Metagross go down now. But let me switch out to Tapu Koko. Oh, wait, I just did the wrong thing.
I didn't want to do that. I actually wanted to switch out the Polytude, but you know what? It's whatever. We get a crit, doesn't matter because it was a 2 KO anyway. But that was a mistake on my part. He is physical. He's actually physical. Um, and that's bad. That's really bad. Um, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna have to try to scald burn him. Mm. And I'm gonna go for the dazzling gleam here. This is not good. This is not good. I'm gonna dazzling gleam and scald. Hopefully I can get a burn. If not. Uh, if he protects here, we'll see. He's probably gonna go. F f he's probably gonna protect Earthquake, right? He goes for fly. Let me reset this weather because he only has two mons left. So let's switch out Politoed and let's sack off the uh, Metagross here. And let's just sack off Coco. And he has to, um, if he, well, he can miss Fly to be honest. And he has to target down the uh, Coco, or else he gets hit with a Dazzling Gleam. Alright, cool. And Metagross actually goes down too, so that's, um... A-okay, -A I guess. Polytoed and uh, Fermosa. Since he's at plus one, there's a good chance that he just goes for fly again, right? I'm going to Hydro Pump. Um, actually, let's Ice Beam the, no, 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 let's Hydro Pump, and then, uh, All Out, uh, Pummeling the Benelux. Let's see how that works. Special attack gets boosted. Kind of wish I was um, speedy so I can outspeed this thing. Uh, we'll go for the ice beam here because that's our only hope. <laughs> uh, maybe he'll go for fly and then we can protect and then we can somehow win. I don't know. Goes for dragon claw that connects. It's going to take us out. So that is going to be two losses there, hopefully um, we're going to bring this back 
in one for the next episode. Hopefully we come back somehow, some way we learn a little bit more. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to let me know by hitting that thumb. Uh, and if you want to leave some uh, help in the comments, it's always greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.